Hello and welcome to microbiology for the fall semester. The first thing you're going to notice in your lab kit is paperwork. These are the lab laboratory safety guidelines. Please, please read through these again. Make sure you understand all of them. I know you already read through them once, but we need you to read through them again. It's very important. Along with that, you're going to find the uh, kit contents uh, for what comes in this kit. Now, after that, you're going to find pages, several pages of what items you need to supply for various labs. These are things that you probably have at home already, so don't freak out. It's a lot, but again, you already have most of these things. After that, you're also going to find the safety data sheets for all of the chemicals in the lab kit. Now, these are also going to be available online, okay? But if you need, here's a paper copy. Um, Specifically, if any of this gets on your skin or in your eyes, they have a section specifically for how to deal with that, okay? Uh, spoiler alert, it usually wash with water uh, heavily, okay? So make sure that you read through those if you have any worries. Um, now I'm going to take you through the kit contents uh, one by one, going off of what we have here. First, goggles. You may get uh, a random color. Uh, most of them are colorful, some of them are clear. Very random colors, don't freak out, that's yours is an orange. Next, we're gonna have disposable gloves. When you pull up, you answer what kind of gloves you needed. We are going to give you a baggie full of eight pairs of gloves. Now, that is enough gloves for you to use several pairs per experiment. However, if you uh, plan your time well, you should have plenty of gloves left over because you're gonna do all the experiments probably in one setting, but we did give you enough. If you need to break that up, you can. Uh, next is disposable lab aprons. You're going to find a little rubber banded set of nine, okay? We give you one per uh, lab, okay? Plus one extra. Um, if it's not dirty, you can reuse it for multiple experiments within the lab. Um, this, again, would be great if you did most of the experiments or all of the experiments at one time, okay? Uh, after that is the absorbent pads. We're gonna give you eight. This is more than you need. Again, if you do all the lab experiments at one time uh, per lab, uh, we're giving you eight. Okay. Next is TSA plates. So you're going to get two stacks of six. They're going to be taped uh, to open it. We'll go over that in uh, how to streak uh, your bacteria, okay? You're gonna get two sets of six. We gave you uh, 11 for the labs plus one extra in case something goes wrong or something doesn't look right um, or some mold grows on it or something. So we did give you one extra. Next, we're gonna go with TSA slants. Now your slants, your deep, your water and your nitrate are gonna come in this disposable uh, test tube rack. Okay, sorry for the shakiness. You're gonna find 12 of these slants, they are called slants because the auger slants inside the test tube. These are screw top tubes, they are currently sterile. Okay, once you open this, it won't be sterile. Uh, however, we have ways around that so that you can uh, grow your bacteria inside. Next is auger deeps. These deeps do not have the slant part. They are just auger. You're gonna use a disposable needle to stab down in there, just so you get a uh, feeling for what stabbing a deep is like. You get two of those. Uh, wax pencil, now you're gonna find a bunch of these items come in this plastic tub, okay? Nice little gift basket for you. Got a wax pencil. This is for marking plates and tubes and uh, microscope slides, okay? Just use scissors to trim the top of that off. That's paper that's gonna come off real easily. Next, we have the plastic container itself. You're gonna use this for gram stain, okay? Bibulous paper pack. Bibulous paper pack, here it is. That's also gonna come in your uh, plastic tub. This is more than you will need this semester. Uh, this is used for drying your slides after you stain them. Reusable metal inoculation loop, right here. This is reusable, do not throw this away. This is your lifeblood. Okay, you're gonna hold it like a pencil, just like a pencil. You're going to, sorry for the shakiness. You're going to dip it into the ethanol that you're providing and then uh, hold it over a candle so that it's, it gets sterile so that you can um, aseptically transfer bacteria and grow bacteria. Do not throw this away. It is, it is reusable, it is not disposable. Next is your test tube rack that you saw earlier. 
It's this white box already made for you, already holding most of your tubes, all of your tubes. Uh, Graham stain kit. Now from Carolina, we have, I'm just knocking this around so much. I'm so sorry if I'm giving you seasickness or something. Uh, we have the Graham, Kane, Graham stain kit, small, okay? We're gonna go over the contents of this in the Graham stain video. Uh, it should be sealed. I think one or two of them are open, just we had to make sure that they had the contents in them. Uh, go over that in the Graham stain video. We have sterile transfer pipettes. Now, you notice we have 17 uh, sterile transfer pipettes, and then down here we have two transfer pipettes non-sterile. So these are the non-sterile guys, okay? They do not come in packaging. You're gonna use these at very specific points. Uh, one of them is gonna be for the gram stain. You're gonna label it for water and you're just gonna use it to squirt water on your slides. Uh, that's reusable. And then this, I think uh, the other one is uh, for a later uh, lab. It will be very specific about using a non-sterile one uh, so that you don't waste these, the sterile ones. They come in a little package. They have tabs at the top. One is clear, the other is white. Okay, you open that and you can grab the bulb. Do not touch down here. Do not make it unsterile. Next, we have sterile cotton swabs. Now, you get 10 of them, but really you get 20 because in each one is two cotton swabs. Now, same thing with the tab up here. You can pull that apart when you use them. You're gonna pull out one stick at a time. I repeat, just one stick at a time. You want the cotton part down here to remain sterile for as long as possible. So that, and you're going to use both, okay? You're not gonna have any extras of this. Make sure that you only pull out one at a time to use. Next we have, where did we go? Glass slides with cover slip. Now, you're gonna find that in your plastic tub, okay, there's one big white box down here, and here's another one. It's gonna be free floating in your box and your lab kit, okay? Inside here, glass slides and cover slips, and outside of here are stickers that you're gonna use to label the slides. Uh, you get two of these, you're gonna use most of them before you pick up the second lab kit. Uh, metal forceps. Metal forceps, these are gonna be used for the antibiotic lab and disinfectant lab. Okay, you're gonna also dip these in ethanol and flame them to make them sterile. These are metal forceps. You pull off the little rubber end here. Boom, just what you think forceps are. Next we have sterile disposable inoculating uh, needles. These look a lot like the sterile transfer pipettes in the fact that they have a white back and a clear front. However, the transfer pipettes should have uh, uh, blue marking on them, okay? Also, these are much, much longer. Um, as you can see, the disposable needle is much, much longer. Now, it also has the tabs at the top where you're gonna pull it apart and you're just gonna grab at the top here. You're also gonna hold it like a pencil because if you can see, this bottom part down here is thinner than the handle. Okay, that's what you're gonna be using to stab into things, into auger tubes, not other things. Um, then we got parafilm strips. This is a strip of parafilm. This is going to be used to wrap your uh, auger plates. Now, you don't need this whole thing to wrap an auger plate. You need to cut this into four, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll go over that in how to uh, streak a plate and wrap it, okay? But you're gonna cut this into four. I'm gonna show you how to, to use it. So stay tuned for that video. Um, you get six of those, so you can make 24 strips. You also get a 250 milliliter beaker. Now your transfer pipettes are gonna come in this uh, 250 milliliter beaker. Okay, it says 250 on it, Nalgene. We also have a 100 milliliter beaker that looks like this. It's gonna be in your lab kit. Okay, the 250 is gonna be in the plastic tub. The 100 is gonna be in your lab kit. Uh, it specifically says they're 100 milliliters. You get two yeast packets. We know yeast can be hard to find, so we special ordered it for you. You get two of these. You're going to use them at different lab uh, times. Do not use both for one lab. You need them for two different labs uh, during different weeks. Do not open both at once. You only need one. There is more than enough for each lab experiment, okay? You get two of those. Uh, screw top tube with sterile transfer, uh, sorry, sterile water. That's this, you get a screw top tube. It has a tiny bit of water down there. You're gonna, I believe you're gonna use this during the first lab. Uh, this is sterile, it's very tiny. It's very different than the auger that we've seen before. It's just water. Now we have the uh, 15 centimeter ruler and that little guy looks like this. It's a ruler, ta-da! It says VWR on it, they all look identical. You're gonna use this during the antibiotic to measure resistance. 
then we get the nitrate broth. The nitrate broth also comes in your disposable test tube rack. It has a glass tube in there. It's called a derm tube. It's going to capture gas from bacteria. Uh, it also comes as a screw top. All of the all the tubes this semester come as screw top uh, to keep them sterile and uh, leak proof in your kits. Okay, this is the nitrate broth. You might want to uh, label that if you're watching this video. This is nitrate broth. Then we go to this nice little baggie. Okay, this says biohazard. Guess what? It's a biohazard. Please be careful when you're using the stuff in this bag. We have selected uh, biosafety level one bacteria. These bacteria are not going to hurt you unless you are immunocompromised, uh, but you still need to be careful with them because who knows what's gonna happen now. We uh, have four bacteria here for you. It's Bacillus subtilis, Staphylococcus epidermidis, Serratia marcescens, and Escherichia coli. That's right, we gave you E. coli. It is not dangerous as long as you take the per, uh, proper safety precautions, okay? Uh, each of these is going to come in a little packy, little packet, okay? It's gonna come with uh, rehydration nutrients. Uh, your instructors are going to provide you with a video from Carolina about how to um, rehydrate your bacteria. And from there, you're going to streak plates and streak test tubes and all that good stuff. These are your bacteria, you get four of them now, please. Please, 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 please do this. Look and make sure that you have one of each. This says Bacillus subtilis. You should be able to tell, um, you can open the pack. I'm not gonna open it here, but you can open the pack and you can read the micro quick culture says Bacillus subtilis. Great, you have one of those. Then you're gonna go over here. This says Serratia marcescens. It's hard to see. I know what it says. It says Serratia marcescens. This one says Staphylococcus epidermidis. And this last one says Escherichia coli, okay? Please make sure that you have one of each, okay? I am human, I may have messed up, I may have given you two of one or not one. We double check those. Please check when you get home and you're watching this video, please be going through this with me. Make sure that you have one of each of those, okay? That is very important for your lab this semester. Make sure you have one of each of those. Now, last few things here. Uh, are also in the plastic baggie. You have two little dropper things and two little dropper bottles. Now, this is going to be used for the nitrate experiment, okay? It says nitrate A and nitrate B. Um, these are malachite green and methylene blue. You can notice that both of these have an exclamation point. That means that they are somewhat hazardous. The methylene blue has a number five in the health area and the malachite green has a number two. For the experiments we gave these to you for, you are going to use most of these. If these get on your skin, please rinse that area with water, flush it with water for five to 10 minutes, okay? These aren't overly dangerous. They are very easy to use. It's a dropper bottle, okay? We give you, oh, yep, that's fine. Uh, we give you just enough for the Malachite Green to use uh, for the, uh, spore stain, okay? If you get those on your skin, which you shouldn't because it's dropper bottle and you're gonna be very safe with it, uh, flush it with water, tell your instructor, make sure they know it happens. It happened to me, uh, spills happen. Just make sure that you have read your safety data sheet for each of the chemicals. You know what precautions to take if you get it on your skin or in your eyes or you accidentally digest it. Chances are you are not going to do any of the, those things. However, accidents do happen. Make sure you know how to treat them, okay? Um, on top of this, uh, please store your kit where your pets and children cannot reach it and also store it around room temperature. You do not need to store this in your fridge. Please check your kit contents when you get home. Thank you very much.